Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbanger Eats. One of my favorite Indian vegetarian dishes is chana masala or chole bhature. And when I did my Indian food challenge, I actually made some chana and ate that. Even when I was doing my Athlean X food challenge, I made a version of chana masala with paneer, which is an Indian fresh cheese and ate that. So today I'm going to show you how to make my chana masala. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's cook. So for this recipe, we're going to be using white chana or kabuli chana as it is called and we're going to soak it overnight in water or for 8 hours at least. This is an essential step and don't skip it otherwise your chana will be very hard. And you can see the difference in the regular chana and in the chana that has been soaked overnight. Now I'm going to use a pressure cooker to cook the chana but you can also do it without one. So I'm going to put the chana into a pressure cooker. I'm also going to add two bay leaves and my secret ingredient which is a chicken stock cube. You can also use a beef stock cube and you can also just add salt. And I'm also going to add in one tea bag. Now this is to basically give it a darker color. Anyway then I'm going to pressure cook the chana for about 15 minutes or so and just let it cook. Once it's done allow the pressure cooker to cool down and then open it up and now our chana is ready to use. I'm going to get rid of the tea bag. I'm also going to remove the bay leaves and yep this is pretty much good to go. And the chana should be cooked enough that you can smash it between your fingers and it's nice and soft. If it's a little hard, you should pressure cook it some more till it's nice and tender. Now to make the chana masala, I'm going to get a saucepan on the stove and I'm going to heat up a whole tablespoon of ghee. You want to measure this out so that you don't use too much because we don't want this to be a very fatty chana masala. Into that, I'm going to add some onions and I'm going to season the onions with a pinch of salt. I think this just kind of helps to bring out the sweetness of the onions. Now you want to cook these onions till they start to turn translucent and I kind of forgot that I had the onions on the stove while I was looking for my garam masala but I saved it just in time. Anyway once the onions turn translucent it's time to add our whole garam masalas and I'm adding in one cinnamon stick, three green cardamoms, two black cardamoms and some cumin seeds. Now I would have also added cloves in but since I didn't have any I just left them out. Anyway give that all a good mix and you just want to let the onions and the spices fry. Anyway now I'm going to add in some freshly chopped ginger and some freshly chopped garlic. And then I'm going to give it all a good mix and let it cook. After about a minute or two I'm going to add in my masalas now. So I'm adding in some Kashmiri red chilli powder and some coriander powder and the star of the show the actual chana masala or the chole masala. Now this is a spice blend that you get in the market. Uh, you could make your own but it's very complicated it's just much simpler to buy and I'll leave a link in the video description box where you can purchase this. And of course make sure you give it all a good mix you want to fry out some of the rawness of the spices and then I'm going to pour in the liquid from the cooking of the chana. Now just remember guys this liquid is flavored with our chicken stock cube so it is super delicious and super flavorful. I'm also going to add in about 150 ml of tomato puree. Alternatively you can just puree a tomato at home and use it or you can even use chopped tomatoes but if you're going to use chopped tomatoes I would recommend adding them much earlier. Anyway I'm going to give everything a good mix and then cover it with a lid and let it cook for at least 7 to 8 minutes. So after about 7 or 8 minutes we're going to check in on it and if you can see the oil having separated from the tomato paste you know it's ready. So give it all a good mix. Now at this point I'm going to add in my chana. Anyway give that all a good mix. Now I'm also going to pull out that cinnamon stick and set it aside because it's just getting in the way. And now we're going to cover it and let it cook for another 2-3 to three minutes. And now ladies and gentlemen if you're happy with the chana it's pretty much ready. 
and now I'm just gonna fish out those black cardamoms and discard them. Trust me, there's nothing worse than biting into an elaichi when you're eating food. But I want to add another layer to this and I'm going to add in some chopped paneer. Now paneer is a fresh Indian cheese and I'm adding it one because it adds a nice little sort of variation to the regular chana masala and it's also very high in protein and it's a great protein source for vegetarians. So in case you didn't know chana is actually more carbs than protein. So the paneer kind of balances it out and makes this a more high protein dish. Anyway, give that all a good mix. Let the paneer sink into that gravy. And then I'm going to cook it for, well, another few minutes so that it absorbs some of that flavor. And once that's done, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing left to do but to finish it off with some fresh coriander and give it a final good mix. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Our chana masala or our chole is ready. And that looks really delicious. So yeah, I hope you guys are going to make this at home and definitely let me know how it turns out. Hey folks, if you enjoyed the recipe, please give the video the thumbs up and subscribe to Headbanger Eats for more awesome recipes. Also hit that bell icon and hit all notifications so that you don't miss a single video that I upload. Anyway, till the next time, cheers and keep cooking.